Determining RS configuration of chiral compounds is easier than you think. You do not have to be able to convert a Fischer projection into a three-dimensional sawhorse projection, like shown here. That seems like a lot of work. All you have to do is remember one thing to determine RS configuration, and I'll show you what that is. So here is an example of a Fischer projection of an organic compound, and we're going to determine RS configuration. So what do we do first? Well, identify the chiral carbon, which is the carbon that is attached to four different things with four single bonds. So we have a hydroxide, a carboxylic acid, a methyl group, and then a dinky little hydrogen. So now we have to determine priority among these, one, two, three, or four, one being the highest priority. So how do we do that? Well, we start at the chiral carbon and we're going to go to the first atom attached in each direction. So when I go this way, I have an oxygen. When I go this way, I have a hydrogen. When I go this way, I have a carbon. And when I go this way, I have another carbon. So oxygen has the highest atomic mass here. So it's what I call the fanciest of all the atoms. So this will get priority one, the highest priority. So then I notice that hydrogen has the lowest atomic number actually of all atoms. So that'll probably be the fourth priority. So I have to decide among these two substituents as to which one is priority two and priority three. How do I do that? Well, I will go to the next attached atom in each direction and see which one has priority there. So when I go this way, the next attached atom is oxygen. When I go this way, the next attached atom is hydrogen. Well, once again, oxygen has the highest atomic number, fancier, definitely fancier than hydrogen. So this will get priority two, and this will get priority three, and then we'll leave that as priority four. Now, the one thing that you have to know before you determine RS configuration is that when you're dealing with the Fischer projection, the first step of converting it to sawhorse projection looks like this. You just have to remember that the horizontal substituents will always be wedged and the vertical substituents will always be dashed, which means if the lowest priority is in the vertical position, it's dashed and it's going into the page, which is proper orientation to determine RS configuration as is. So we have our lowest priority going into the page on a dash in the vertical position, which means simply rotate from one to two to three, which is counterclockwise or left rotation, which means this molecule or this chiral carbon is S configuration. That's all it is. So let's try it again with another Fischer projection of a chiral compound. I'm going to do the same thing as I did before, and I'm going to identify the chiral carbon, which once again is in the center. It has four single bonds attached to four different things. I have a hydroxide, a hydrogen, a methyl group, and a nitro group. So then I'm going to determine the priority, one, two, three, or four, among these substituents by starting at the chiral carbon and going to the first attached atom in each direction. So when I go here, I have a hydrogen. When I go here, I have a carbon. When I go this way, I have a nitrogen. Nitrogen, and when I go up here, I have an oxygen. Well, oxygen has the highest atomic number. Therefore, just like before, it will get priority one. And hydrogen, as we saw before as well, has the lowest atomic number of all atoms on the periodic table. So that'll probably be priority four. So among these two here, nitrogen versus carbon, nitrogen has a higher atomic number than carbon. So this will be priority two and this will be priority three. And once again, hydrogen is priority four. But before determining RS configuration, let's just take a quick look at that one thing you have to know when converting it into a sawhorse projection is the first step. Remember, the horizontal substituents will be wedged coming out of the page and the vertical substituents will always be dashed going into the page. Now, if your fourth priority is in horizontal position, that means it is wedged coming out of the page, which is not proper orientation for determining RS configuration as is. But no worries, all we have to do is the same thing we did before, which is rotate from one to two to three, and you see it's counterclockwise left rotation, which indicates S. However, if your fourth priority is in horizontal position, simply know that you change your answer to the opposite of what you got, R. 
this molecule is our configuration. That's it. You don't have to rotate anything, do any flips or any awkward hand gestures. Simply do it the way you did it before. Just change your answer to the opposite. So to make it even simpler, just know that when your fourth priority is in horizontal position, it will be wedged, it will be coming out of the page, which means whatever answer you get, you will flip it to the opposite. So if this is priority one, and this is priority two, and this is priority three, do your normal rotation, which is clockwise rotation, which would be R, but flip your answer to S when the fourth priority is in horizontal position. So then, if we have our fourth priority in vertical position, know that it is dashed, meaning going into the page. So we'll do our priorities. And once again, we rotate from one to two to three, which is right rotation clockwise, which is simply R. And your answer is what it is because the hydrogen, when it's in vertical position, is in proper orientation to determine R's configuration as is. That's it. So let's try it again on another Fisher projection without the assistance of the sawhorse projection. So just like before, let's identify our chiral carbon, which is in the center here, and then determine, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Looky here, we have a carboxylic acid up here and a carboxylic acid down here. Even though they're written differently, they are both carboxylic acids, which means we do not have four different substituents. Two of them are the same, which means this is not a chiral carbon. It's not a chiral compound, which means we will not be determining RS configuration. Be careful, always check your substituents to make sure there are four different substituents and four single bonds on the carbon before jumping into determining RS configuration. Simple as that.